And oh, from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Fred starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it might well be a game to savour. Manchester United kick off. unable to keep possession promising attack this it's there for him superb save well he should score of course but that's a brilliant save and the short option preferred They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the goal kick will be next. Schlup. Are you? Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's with McTominay. Might be onto something with that ball. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Sancho. The Red Devils have lost the ball. Breaking at pace. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Sancho. Here's Tevez. Bruno Fernandes. We'll look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. Goal. 
So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. to keep the ball a bit better than that. Alex Tellez has it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fred. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Alex Tellez has it. Here's Ronaldo. And take it away. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. How about the cross? Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the... I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge, and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And he'll take no further part in this game. That could make things interesting, Stuart. Well, I can't believe he's done that. They were coasting here. It's going to make it difficult now. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Kuyasek. Jean-Philippe Mateta moving the ball nicely trying to carve out the equaliser but then the commentator's curse comes into play racing forward trying to catch them out wonderfully weighted pass insufficient guile on the crossing front you've got to say Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Ronaldo feeds it. Crossing high, and they have the ball again. Must be! Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. short corner routine element of risk there but he's won the ball and there it is the half-time whistle well that influential presence up to this point Bruno Fernandes what did you think of what you saw from him well I thought he had a really effective first half not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead but his general play was really good he was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the second half is underway with Palace behind. Can they turn this game around? It's going to be interesting to see. Jeffrey Schrupp, Connor Gallagher. Well, they keep the ball moving. Could cross it in here. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. 
Can he finish? Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. So the corner played into the box. Thumps clear. It's opening up for them. Could be dangerous. Will they get themselves level here? Real chance. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And a free kick awarded by the referee. An opportunity to level matters. In it goes! Coley converted! Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Could be a chance to break here. He had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Lindelof. Bruno Fernandes. Alex Tellez has it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Absolutely spot on and they keep the ball. Are you? Now he must favour the cross. Klein. An authoritative challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. And they need to get tighter here. 20 minutes remaining. Substitution for Here it is now, a substitution. Matic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. And the keeper collects under a bit of pressure. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Connor Gallagher. Retaining possession proving difficult. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. It's going to be United's free kick. Well, the referee letting him know any more like that and he will go into the book, Stuart. Yeah, he knows he can't commit another foul now. <laughs> so making the substitution now. in by Ronaldo and well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity 
and winning it back. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? And no problems for Matic on the defensive front. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Can someone get on the end of this? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. I'll try to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Played over. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Matic. Fred with it. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Bruno Fernandes. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. He's protecting it well. A possession lost, intercepted. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? But quick thinking defensively. And there's the whistle. All even at the end of 90 minutes here.